Final Judgment Parable Matthew 25 31-34 31- But when the Son of Man comes in His glory, and all the angels with Him, then He will sit on His glorious throne. 32- And all the nations will be gathered before Him, and He will separate them from one another, just as the shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. 33- He will put the sheep on His right, but the goats on the left. 34- Then the King will say to those on His right, Come, you who are blessed of my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. The Son of Man descending from heaven in all His glory, is the event all Scripture points to, and not only by Himself but the angels of heaven with Him. This point written about is all eyes seeing Him and a judgment for all, there is no one time for this judgment or that judgment. It is you righteous sheep to the right and you guilty goats to the left. This is how judgment was done in the book of Exodus, when Moses was the shepherd of God's flock and he had to perform. Final judgment is those who worship the Lord and those who did not. When Moses was descending down Mount Sinai where he had just received the Ten Commandments of God, he saw how sinful the Israelites were and became filled with rage, through the tablets and the commandments of God were shattered all over. When a servant of God like Moses, sees the people God loves, being totally disrespectful and who are ungrateful of freeing them from the bondage of slaves, he feels and knows they deserve death. Now the judgment at the bottom of Mount Sinai will be like the time leading up to the last day. Moses saw all the Israelite worshipping false golden calf even the priest Aaron made the false god. The servant Moses asked a question and a statement if you want God to be your Lord, show me by coming to me. Some people agree to follow God and then there are stubborn people who choose what is right to their personal beliefs. So Moses demonstrates the kind of judgment the Lord will, those of you who follow the Lord you live and those of you who don't die here on this day and right now. Exodus 32 26 Moses then stood at the gate of the camp, and said, Whoever is for the Lord, come to me. And all the sons of Levi gathered together with him. 27 And he said to them, This is what the Lord, the God of Israel says, Every man of you put his sword on his thigh, and go back and forth from gate to gate in the camp, and kill every man his brother, and every man his friend, and every man his neighbor. 28 So the sons of Levi did as Moses instructed, and about three thousand men of the people fell that day. On the great day of the Lord's judgment if it will be like what Moses discovered, there will be people on the left and right will know God is the Lord. Those on the right will say I am sorry God please forgive me and be my Savior Lord. Romans 10 9 that if you confess with your mouth Jesus as Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Those on the left, will know God is the Lord, they saw his miracles over and over but just refused to obey his words and would rather die. This is the plain and simple truth my beloved, people who are unhappy worship Jesus here on earth will be completely miserable in the kingdom of heaven, so they will gladly pick death and hell. C.S. Lewis said the same thing and he learned it from his personal study of God's word, he says those in hell will choose to be there, so let them have it. There are only two kinds of people in the end, those who say to God, Thy will be done, and those to whom God says, in the end, that will be done. All that are in hell, choose it. Without that self-choice there could be no hell. No soul that seriously and constantly desires joy will ever miss it. Those who seek find. Those who knock it are opened. C.S. Lewis, The Great Divorce. Dear brothers and sisters, prepare your hearts for end-time events, but it is only end time for sin, the righteous of God and His love endures forever, and those who choose to follow Him and love Him will have everlasting life in the kingdom of heaven. God bless you all, the Savior Jesus loves you and so do I Samuel H. Exodus 32 33 However, the Lord said to Moses, Whoever has sinned against me, I will wipe him out of my book. 34 But go now, lead the people where I told you. Behold, my angels shall go before you, nevertheless on the day when I punish, I will punish them for their sin. Book of James series soon.